It takes everyone from our staff, students, parents, visitors, along with our local public safety partners to ensure that our students learn in a safe learning environment. Planning prior to an incident is going to give not only just staff, but also the community, an overall awareness and confidence so that if and when an incident occurs, we know what to do. In Arlington Public Schools, we've adopted emergency preparedness framework of preparedness, mitigation, response, and recovery. Preparedness is very simply, we have a plan. The whole purpose is to help train to the plan. We have mitigations in place, security systems, our school security coordinator positions are great for mitigations to help lower the risk. Response, how are we actually gonna respond in the case of an emergency? And then lastly is recovery. The whole point of us is after an incident, we wanna spend time to do everything we can to go back to normal operations. Within mitigations, we have various physical technical security systems in place across the district. One of our major goals for this year is to bring them interconnected so that we have a systems-based approach so that they communicate and talk to one another to help lower the risk towards our school system. Really, our mission is to safeguard Arlington Public Schools, students, staff, and the community. Our systems-based approach towards physical and technical security lowers that risk. One of the major initiatives that we've had uh, throughout Arlington Public Schools for the last many years is creating new secure vestibules. We work very closely alongside our program managers with design and construction to come up with a secure basis of design. Visiting our school, you have the opportunity to come up and interact with our staff, but we do that in a very safe and secure manner. May I help you? Hi, this is Jim Miller. I'm here to pick up my student. Okay, come into the main office, please. Thank you. Also part of our secure vestibule, once you come inside, once our staff recognizes that it's the same person that they let in, they will open the door for you to come in inside of our school. Part of our emergency management framework is mitigation. We have several security systems in place across our school district to help keep our school safe. If there happens to be a lockdown, we have lockdown buttons inside of every single one of our schools. And this system is redundant and it aids the school in a quick and immediate response for first responders and then also to notify safety and security personnel. For Mr. Walker, we'll press the button. So that alert beacon is telling us where the incident has occurred. It's communicating with emergency first responder staff. It's sending out text messages. It really does aid in the immediate response and then also for the recovery in case an incident would occur. So it's a redundant way to keep our school system safe, using technology, but also good procedures, good planning, alongside our school safety coordinators. School safety coordinators are responsible for physical security, along with coordinating with the administrators to make sure that everything is in order, copacetic for their exact locations, making sure that the staff, students, and faculty are all safe while in school and at special events. My team in particular, some of us have safety backgrounds. Some of us come from the education side. So I think those two components mesh together work well. We have a diverse group of SSCs that come from different backgrounds and walks of life. A lot of experience with security in the past. But the main goal is to build those relationships with students, to get to know the students on a personal level, but also the students see them as leaders in the community and professional adults in the building. I think it's a reflection of Arlington. I'm born and raised in Arlington County. So if you have a diverse community, I think that should be reflective in your school system as well as the SSC department and safety and security has done a great job of making sure we represent the diversity that not just Arlington represents, but Arlington Public Schools. I just like everybody to know that we all have a responsibility, but no matter what our title is, I may have the title of SSC, but as an employee and also a resident of Arlington County, I think we all have the same sense of responsibility for our kids as well as our educators to have a safe place for everybody to live and work. It's also our responsibility to build positive relationships with the students and the school community so that, you know, if there are situations that were to arise, having that collaborative effort going, it's, it's really important. It definitely helps to feel safe and especially when you know them, you know, like they're here to help out. They also just brighten the mood. You see the sun outside? Yeah. But I like to be the sun inside of here to make yeah. everyone smile. True. People are pretty comfortable around them for the most part, so it's a pretty good relationship, I'd say, and it just kind of keeps people pretty happy with one another. I think it's very important to have the mutual trust and helps us accomplish our main goal of making this a safe school and making sure everyone has a good experience here. The more relationships that the adults have and the more 
relationships that the kids have with adults that forms a better line of communication so that way the school can operate freely and that way it's a trusted environment for everybody to be able to flourish in and everybody can feel as safe as possible. We are required to do CPI, which is crisis prevention intervention training. It's um, a hands-off and more of like a de-escalation kind of training, along with CPR, AED, and things of that nature, just to make sure that if any situation were to happen during the school day, then we're fully prepared and we have different ways to go about it. I have about 13 years in first responder services, uh, seven years in lifeguarding, about 10 years in security, all different types of industries. Uh, worked in law enforcement as well. So coming in here, it definitely helps not only learning different aspects, but sharing my knowledge and then working hand in hand with everybody else. And then the yearly certifications we get before we begin the school year. So then we're prepared for the next school year for any certification we had is taken care of in advance. One of the main things that we have available for anybody is to go onto our website, look at our emergency management uh, principles, our practices, and our objectives. On that site, there's free training for students and also for parents about what threat assessment program is and good behavioral analysis. One thing I want to remind everyone is if you see something, say something. If you see something suspicious going on in your school, uh, something that you have an instinct that is not right, we are all empowered to call 911 for emergency situations. You can also uh, call the anonymous Arlington County Police uh, report line. We all have one mission, and that's to keep everybody safe and as happy as possible while they're inside Arlington Public Schools.